Most people add new features to existing products the wrong way, and they end up facing usability problems, and you don't want that. You can't just take a feature request and implement it because the request itself might be incomplete or misleading. In this video, we'll use AI to run the full UX and UI process to turn a feature request into a grounded solution, whether you're adding the feature to your Figma project or to your live product. And since everyone seems to be adding AI features now, I'm gonna show you how to add AI features to your product using AI. In my previous video, I created an infinite canvas app for organizing nodes, lists, and images, and links to help brainstorm any type of project. It also includes the ability to draw on the board. I built it with Lovable, and it's now working on Mindraft.io. So from that video, I got some great comments from you guys, and I appreciate all the feedback and suggestions that you guys have. I'm a UX designer at heart, and here on YouTube, I like to adjust and adapt based on viewer feedback. So please share with me any thoughts. They'll be very valuable to this channel, and I want to know if these videos are helping you, or if you have any ideas or requests for future videos. So one particular comment stood out to me in my previous video from Future Glenn. Glenn said, I would love to see you create a video on UX workflow for modifying or redesigning an existing app, like adding a feature. This would be great for freelancers or someone working at a company. Great idea, Glenn. Thank you for the suggestion. But before we start, I just want to mention my community here. If you want to learn more in-depth UI UX processes using AI tools, check out my community. It includes three detailed courses on AI implementation for UX, UI, and for creating an MVP, whether you're working with a team or solo. I'm also posting extra videos in the community where I discuss the latest research and discovery of AI tools and workflows. If you're interested in being part of a community at the forefront of the AI changes in our industry, we would love to have you. Go to aitooltipcommunity.com to learn more. All right, in this video, we will implement a new AI feature to my app. I will go through the UX process of coming up with a solution. I will show you how to use agent mode to facilitate the decision-making if you're working with a team. And then finally, we'll generate the UI changes that we settled on. So we're starting with an existing product, whether you have it in Figma or live on the web, it doesn't matter. So usually when you're getting a feature request, it comes in the form of a goal. You want the user to achieve something new or perform a new action that couldn't be done before. And most of the time, one obvious idea comes to mind in terms of UI implementation. But you shouldn't go with it right away because there's always so much that you don't think about before getting into the UI implementation. So instead of going with your intuition or with the client's intuition, we're going to take this feature request and expand on it with the help of ChatGPT. We will flesh out the full scope of this new feature, then we will come up with multiple solutions to achieve the goal. Then we will narrow down to the best solution. This allows you to explore all possible paths before committing to a single solution. And most of the time you will realize that your initial solution was not the best for usability. And then finally, we'll get into the UI implementation. So to start, take a screenshot of your app or multiple screenshots if required, any screens that might be affected by this feature. Attach them to ChatGPT and copy the following prompt and fill out the bracketed parts with your product details. Enter your product context, then your feature request. This allows you to brainstorm with ChatGPT without letting it decide what solution to go with. First, it will ask you questions to understand exactly the scope of the feature. Then it will summarize your answers. And then after that, it will propose multiple solutions. And finally, we'll convert your details into the changes for the UI to your product. And these questions are super important to have answers for. They will challenge your idea. Like here, it's asking me questions that I didn't think about when I came up with the idea. Like what kind of AI summary do I want? And it's giving me options and it's suggesting multiple ways the mechanics of this feature could be working. Like, do I want a summary or recommendation with AI? And do I want the AI to understand images to extract the content or or just to know that there's images in there? And then do I want the user to choose the output format, for example? All of these are questions that will solidify your feature implementation. So yeah, you get the idea. Like I went from an AI summary feature to all of these interactions that I didn't consider before. This is a great exercise to flesh out any new feature you want to add. So I answered the questions. And once you submit your answers, it will move on to the next step and create user insights. Here's a beautiful summary of the results of my answers. And then before we move to step three, it asked me if I want to prioritize speed or depth. 
And I didn't really know what that means exactly. So I asked for an explanation. And it gave me a detailed breakdown of each direction, which really helped me to decide that I want to go with the speed direction. And then we moved on to step three, which is three ideas or solutions that cover all my requirements for this feature. Go through the ideas and see what makes the most sense to you. And if you're working with a client or a team, this is a great time to collaborate on nailing down the solution that you want. You can even use ChatGPT agent mode to create a presentation with all of the solutions to present them and discuss them as a group. Here I said, create a presentation that explains the different options to stakeholders so that they can decide on a solution. And of course, with agent mode turned on, I'll click submit. Okay, so it took 18 minutes to complete the presentation in PowerPoint format. Here it is. And if you're using ChatGPT 5, it should come up with a much better quality presentation. But I'm still on ChatGPT 4 while filming this video. So it included all of the essential information to enable us to make a decision in a structured and visual way. And crucially, there's a table at the end with a comparison of each solution. That's really helpful. Once you settle on a solution, you can move on to step four. And it will give you a summary of the feature mechanics and interactions and implementation. And now all you have to do is ask for a brief prompt that describes the UI changes. I said create a concise prompt that explains the UI changes. Mention only the UI elements that need to be removed, added, or modified. Now let's jump into the UI design. I'm using UX Pilot here. If you have your design in Figma, you can import it into UX Pilot using the UX Pilot plugin. And if you don't have it in Figma, you can recreate your UI using a screenshot. UX Pilot will build it for you. Just attach a screenshot of your product to UX Pilot in the context box and just say build this. And it will actually build the whole UI for you just from your screenshot. Now that you have your design in UX Pilot, all you have to do is go into Global Edit at the top. And in the prompt box at the top right, here you enter the prompt that you got from ChatGPT. And there we go, UX Pilot implemented all of the changes perfectly with an interactive UI that includes all of the elements of the new feature. You can see here the expandable panel with a summary and action items and a chat interface at the bottom. This is extremely accurate and good UI that adheres to our original design style. And this is how you implement a new feature. We went from a completely vague idea to a detailed feature that includes all of the interactions and mechanics that our team decided on. And crucially, not what AI decides is best. And along the way, we created a presentation that facilitates the decision-making and that we generated a breakdown of all of the features that can be well-documented and handed off to a developer to implement the feature with the exact details of the functionality and the interaction. Let me know if you want another video where I implement this feature in my working product. And again, please leave any comments with ideas or questions or feedback and I'll answer everything as usual. And now, let's get back to work.